so this is our basic empty project and let's go ahead to asset library and here in the search search for limbo so this is an add-on that will help us to set up our state machines and also behavior trees if you want some AI stuff and you can see we have different kinds of versions and currently I am using Godot version 4.4 so let's download this version so click on install and once everything is done it will say that limbo ai has successfully installed and then click on ok now it's time to add some input maps so go to project project settings under input map make sure you add some of the actions and the respected keys in my case i have added three actions for move enter space and respected keys all right so next let's create two folders the first folder will store our scene and the second folder will store all our scripts all right now let's add a character body 3d and add a collision shape for it you can assign any collision shape you want and also remember that this is not a character controller tutorial rather it's a state machine tutorial with a very basic set all right so next the main thing in this tutorial is the states and to add the states just select the root node and then press ctrl a and search for state and select limbo state all right so let's add four of them for this demonstration and i will quickly rename them to idle run to jump and the fourth state is death all right so now we have four states and what we need is a manager that can you know manage or control all these states so for that again select the main node and this time add a limbo hsm and that's limbo hierarchical state machine and we need to manage all these states under this limbo hsm so just drag and drop all the states and now it's time to add script so let's quickly add the script for all our states and make sure you save it in a proper folder and also make sure that it inherits a limbo state And lastly, add the script for your main root node. And for this demonstration, I don't need any controller setup. All right. So now it's time to reference all of the state machine nodes. So make sure you select any of the node and then shift select the last node and then press control, then left click the uh, state machine manager. And this creates a quick reference for all of our nodes. Now let's add a couple of functions. So the first function is initialize state machine in which we set our initial state because we need uh, one state to be our initial state or our starting point. And then we also initialize our state machine so that our state machine starts working and then we also set it to active. Uh, remember that your scene may have multiple state machines. So that's why we make sure our current state machine is set to active and next let's add some transitions well to add some transition let's again create one more function named setup state transition and in the hierarchical state machine we add the transition from idle to run and whenever we call this to run function our transition should occur all right so next similarly we have added some of the other transitions as well for this demonstration i want my idle transition to go to run and not jump and same way for our run transitions it can go from run to run jump or from run to idle and the last one is from run jump to idle so basically three transitions and for the fourth state i just tell that we can go from any state to death whenever we dispatch this signal all right so you can think these transitions as road maps uh, in which you travel from one state to other and if you don't add these transitions then you cannot travel from that state to another so in these examples i didn't add few of transitions from run jump to run or let's say from idle to run jump so that whenever i call these transitions then this is not gonna work so make sure you add these transitions all right so let's call both of these functions in our ready so that it starts working whenever our scene is loaded and the last function is change state so that's basically 
uh, changing from one state to other whenever this dispatch signal is called all right so now let's add some code in our states so let's go to idle state and here I mainly use these three functions so the first one is the enter and this function is triggered whenever we enter this state and similarly we have this exit function so whenever we exit from this state this function is triggered and the last one is update so this is similar to uh, the process physics process function all right so if you want to have more control over here then you can just select the main node and here in the update mode you can just set it to physics idle or if you want to manually call each of the frames then you can just set to manual all right and also if you want to know more about this then you can just press uh, f1 and here search for let's say limbo state and here you'll get the complete documentation in which you'll have uh, various kinds of functions and many more and you can also search for this hierarchical state machine to have its function and all those stuff all right so let's quickly write some code in our idle so now here in the enter we just print uh, telling that entered to this state and similarly we do for the exit and there is no change in this update and also I created a function where uh, if our move action is pressed uh, if you remember then if any of the key is pressed then we transition to a different state and also if we just press the enter then we transition to our death state and i'm calling this function inside this input uh, the reason is because you know update is gonna run continuously while the input function is only gonna run when i press any input so <laughs> this is kind of optimized so you can also write it over here all right so next it's time to script our run state so in this state it's similar to our idle where we just print our exited or entered and in the update it's again empty and in the input again i just created a function for change state and here if our action is just released then we again transition to our idle state and the same code for our death and also i just added uh the transition for the jump state whenever our space bar is just pressed all right so whenever we press the space bar we go to the jump state and let's also script our jump state so in this state we don't write anything in this update again and for the exit we just write a print statement but for the entered we just print the state name then we wait for the two seconds and then again we transition to our idle because you know it's not necessary that you need to change state whenever any key is pressed you can just call it anytime and the transition is gonna happen also there is no visual demonstration so rather than having a jump i just decided to wait for two seconds and then transition all right so next for the death state we just print some statement whenever we enter and here i did not write the exit or update because that's not needed and once our player is died we just say player committed suicide and we cannot go to any state so once we are traveled to this state there is no go back and now let's also save our scene so press ctrl s then in save let's save it and it's time to test it out so let's run our scene and now you can see our initial state is idle so it prints idle entered and let's try to move so now you can see the idle is exited and we switch to our run state and again let's go to idle by releasing the key and you can see it's working so now let's try to jump by pressing space bar and you see nothing happens because we didn't dispatch the signal and also we didn't add the transition so yes there is no transition for our jump state but whenever we go to our move state and when we press jump you can see we actually travel to jump state and without pressing any key again it goes to idle state after two seconds and let's commit suicide by pressing enter and boom there you go one thing to note is that here in the transitions i just added that we can transition from any state to death but 
if we select our jump state then here i did not call the transition so it's necessary to call the transition even though you have added the roadmap over here and that's why i just said you that this is the roadmap and whenever you call these functions it's trying to go in that road <laughs> just simple as that and before actually stopping the video if you select the hierarchical state machine there is one more option and that's blackboard plan well this is mainly used if you want to share the data between two states so you can basically create a new blackboard plan and you can add any of the variables you can change its type you can change its hint and based on the type you know the hint is gonna change and you can set its value and something like this but you know let's try to create this blackboard using our code let's go to our jump state and here let's create a variable called status and i am assigning the value as uh, ampersand feeling and this will be the variable name that we need to set in our blackboard all right so after we wait for two seconds let's create the variable for our blackboard by saying blackboard dot set variable and the variable name is gonna be uh, status so basically uh, in the blackboard the variable name will be feeling and its value will be this <laughs> all right and just note that we can directly access the blackboard by just calling the blackboard and also uh, this agent is basically the uh, main node so we can just uh, directly access the main node by calling the agent and the change state if you remember then that's this function all right so yes once we have assigned some value to our blackboard let's go to our idle state and here let's print it out so i have added again these two lines of code so basically first we get the variable from our blackboard and make sure you spell out the name correctly this name should uh, again match with this name and we store it in our status and then we print the status but here if you remember that uh, initially we just directly go to our idle state and we don't have this variable value so if that is the case then you know null is printed over here and let's try to move and let's try to jump and you can see once we go to the jump state again it travels to the idle state but this time we have set our variable so this time we get the variable and we print and that's what it's printed over here so this is just a basic example of how to create a very basic state machine with all those transitions and how to use the blackboard so that's it for the video thank you guys for watching my video if you have any questions you can comment it down make sure you like the video comment subscribe and press the bell <laughs> that's a lot more but always have a great day